Hey, welcome back to Golden Blue Dude, everybody. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you want more access to my content. And hey, even if you don't like my content and you just want to talk trash, that works as well. I I'm good with trash talk. In fact, I actually encourage trash talk. Uh, but today we're going to talk about playoff expansion and the... This has been a thorn in my side. It was brought up in the summer of 2021. Got everybody all excited, and it's just they've been dragging their feet in the mud ever since. The good news is that the current playoff contract expires in 2025, so uh, something will have to happen, whether they have to re-sign the current four team, go to a six team, eight team, 12 team. Something has to happen. In fact, more playoff expansion meetings will happen in the next few weeks. Now, the meetings happen between the 10 FBS commissioners and the Notre Dame athletic director. Uh, I guess Notre Dame represents the independent schools. Now, as of right now, there there is no agreement yet. And the biggest arguments are the size of the expansion and what qualifies teams to make the playoffs. So we have commissioners that don't agree on the current four-team playoff format, and we have commissioners that don't agree on the eight-team playoff expansion, commissioners that don't agree on the six-team playoff expansion, and commissioners that don't agree on the 12-team playoff expansion. They don't agree on anything right now. They're concerned about revenue distribution, of course, money, 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 and bowl games. What happens to bowl games? I think the group of five commissioners have an interesting argument. They argue that the Power Five conferences are using their title as a competitive advantage. Uh, they're saying, hey, if you're saying that your champions get an automatic bid, then our champions should get an automatic bid. That's a different argument for a different day, but uh, I kind of do see what they're saying there. But most everybody do agree that automatic bids for the Power 5 champions should happen. The weird thing is there was no official vote taken for the 12-team playoff expansion, so I understand that y'all disagree, but you should take a vote anyway because, hey, you never know, you might agree on it, and you just got to figure out the particulars. So that, that one's uh, kind of a mystery to me. So the original proposal for playoff expansion was 16 playoff. Basically, it was the sixth highest ranked conference champs. Pretty simple, makes sense, top two get a bye week. It's not bad. I just don't think that it's a big enough step. Uh, instead of taking baby steps, let's get to where we need to be like right now instead of, oh, let's go with four, uh, six, six not working, let's go to eight, uh, eight's not working, let's go to 12. No, let's figure out where we need to be right now and be there. So here are the six most popular plans that were being argued about. Uh, the first thing is the qualifications for the 12 best teams. Uh, have a 12-team playoff? How do we get to 12 teams? The next one is automatic bids for the six highest ranked conference champs. That, that's what I was talking about earlier. That's a 16 playoff. Six highest conference champs get in. The two highest ranked get the bye. I mean, it's pretty simple. I just don't think it's a big enough step. The next one is the 12 team. Automatic bid for power five champs. The highest ranked group of five champion. And then six at large bids. I, I guess the tricky situation would be figuring out those six at large. Maybe you go by rankings, record. I don't know. So maybe that's the one thing that they're trying to figure out with that. Next one is the eight best teams. That's the 18 playoff format. Uh, doesn't really have any guidelines, just the eight best teams. So just the top eight ranked teams. Uh, I'm not understanding that. That's way too generic. The next one, also the 18 format. The six highest ranked champs plus two at large bids. That's not bad. I like it. Personally, I would prefer 12 teams because I want that bye week for more incentive. I don't want teams to quit nearing the end of the season because they know they're locked into the playoffs. I give them something to play for beyond just being in the playoffs. That bye week and home field advantage for the first round. Another 18 format. Power 5 champs automatically get in. Highest group of 5 champ and two at large bids. So there's only a minor difference between those last two plans. And the difference is, for the first one, it's just the six highest ranked champs. So maybe one of the Power 5 champs is actually lower than two of the group of five champs, and they would get left out. Whereas the latter one would be Power 5 champs get in no matter what, and then the highest ranked group of five. So only a slight difference. I don't think it would make that much difference because I don't think there's a big possibility of two group of five champions being ranked above any power five champ. Now, the crazy thing is the Pac-12 is good with all proposals. They, they just want something to happen. Pac-12 is like, uh, yes, we agree. Yes, we agree. Yes, we agree. Do something. Do something. It's all the other conferences and Notre Dame 
that disagree on which format and the qualifications. That's the big thing, the qualifications to get into those playoffs. Uh, maybe the size isn't the biggest argument. It's the qualifications to get in. So we have one where the top six teams get in. I guess top ranked. I don't know. We have one where the Power Five champs get in and the highest ranked group of five. That's another six. The 18 proposal, the six highest ranked champs plus two at large. The next one, Power Five champs automatically get in. Then the highest ranked group of five gets in plus two at large. In the other six-team expansion plan, automatic bids for the six highest-ranked conference champions. And finally, the 12-team automatic bids for the Power 5 champs, highest-ranked group of five, plus six at large. All right, enough talk. Let's see what these playoff plans would actually look like. First, we'll start off with the six-team playoff expansion, the straight-up version, just the six top-ranked teams getting in. The five-seed Notre Dame would play at the four-seed Cincinnati in the first round. The six-seed Ohio State would play at the three-seed Georgia. Winner of the five and four plays the number one-seed Alabama, and the winner of the six and three matchup plays the two-seed Michigan. Now for the second six-team playoff expansion. This is just automatic bids for the six highest-ranked conference champions. You Utah, the Pac-12 champs would be the five seed, and they would be playing at Baylor, who's the Big 12 champs. They would be the four seed. Winner of that plays the one seed, Alabama. In the bottom half, the ACC champs, Pitt, would be the six seed, and they would play at Cincinnati, the AAC champs, who would be the three seed. Winner of that plays the two seed, Michigan. Now for the 18 playoff expansion plans. The first one, the eight highest ranked teams, straightforward. The eight seed Ole Miss would play the one seed, Alabama. The five seed Notre Dame would play the four seed, Cincinnati. The six seed Ohio State would play the three seed, Georgia. And the seven Seven seed Baylor would play the two seed Michigan. Winner of the 8 1 matchup plays the winner of the 5 4 matchup, and the winner of the 6 3 matchup plays the winner of the 7 2 matchup. Expansion plan number two for the 8 team expansion. This is the six highest ranked champs plus two at large. The 8 seed Notre Dame plays the 1 seed Alabama. The 5 seed Utah plays the 4 seed Baylor. Winner of the 8 1 plays the winner of the 5 4. The 6 seed Pitt plays the 3 seed Cincinnati. The 7 seed Georgia plays the 2 seed Michigan. The winner of the 6 3 matchup plays the winner of the 7 2 matchup. And finally, the last plan for the 8 team plan playoff, which is automatic bids for the Power 5 Conference champs and the highest ranked group of five champion. There's that slight difference. And then plus the two at largest. Well, in this scenario, it all looks the same because there wasn't two group of five champions that was ranked above a Power 5 champion. So it's exactly the same. Now on to the 12 team expansion. Here's how that would have looked like this year. The first one, straightforward. The top 12 ranked teams. The nine seed Oklahoma State plays the eight seed Ole Miss. Winner of that plays the one seed Alabama. The 12 seed Pitt plays the five seed Notre Dame. Winner of that plays the four seed Cincinnati. The 11 seed Utah plays at the six seed Ohio State. Winner of that plays the three seed Georgia. The 10 seed Michigan State plays at the seven seed Baylor. Winner of that goes on to play the two seed Michigan. And finally, the last playoff expansion plan, the 12 team. This is the one that I like the best. Automatic bids for the Power 5 champs and the highest ranked group of five champion. And then you have your six at large bids. The nine seed Ohio State plays the eight seed Notre Dame. Winner of that plays the one seed Alabama, the SEC champs. The 12 seed Michigan State plays the five seed Utah, who is the Pac-12 champs. Winner of that plays the four seed Baylor, the Big 12 champs. The 11 seed Oklahoma State plays at the six seed Pitt, who's the ACC champs. Winner of that goes on to play the three seed Cincinnati, the AAC champs. And then the 10 seed Ole Miss plays at the seven seed Georgia. Winner of that plays the two seed Michigan. Guys, just figure it out. Get it done. That way we at least know what's going to happen. Are we staying at four? Fine. Just let us know. Are we going to six? Fine. Just let us know. Are we bumping up to eight? Fine. Just let us know. Are we going to 12, which is what I'm hoping for? Fine. Just let us know. Otherwise, you should have just kept it to yourself and let us know when you finally figure out something. Stop arguing and figure it out. Put your big boy pants on. A lot of fluctuations still going on in college football. Uh, conference realignment, playoff expansion, the transfer portal, and the NIL. College football did, is starting to look completely different than from what I remember. Hey, here, here's, here's my thing. When playoff expansion was first announced, even the four team, I was excited. But when they went to the playoff committee, that ruined everything. Why didn't we just do playoff expansion and include the BCS computing system? That worked out. The problem is there just wasn't enough teams. That's it. So they expanded the teams, but then switched over to a human element. That That's disaster right there, guys. That is disaster. Now, I don't understand why they did that. Expand the playoffs, but keep how the BCS ranked them. That worked tremendously. The BCS system ranked teams very, very well. I loved it. It was just, we needed to have some playoffs. That's it. But of course, they figure out a way to ruin that. And, and here we are trying to figure out a 16, 18, 12 team, 16 team, 24. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it didn't need to be this messy. And from switching from the BCS system to the playoff committee, boom, 
instant mess. So good luck figuring it out and trying to clean it up and trying to make it an actual playoff where it makes sense. Good luck with that. Y'all let me know in the comments section which playoff expansion you like the most. Do you want it to stay at four? Do you like the six team, the eight team, or the 12 team? Let me know in the comments section. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.